Good evening everyone and welcome back to match it on the G1 Climax Festival here in SWNWE 2 Great Banana. Yeah, that was it. 2K24 is what I was trying to say. We are back with the third round of matches from Group A. This is the opening one of those. This is Hiroshi Tanahashi versus Tetsuya Naito. Let's have a quick gander at the group. So as you can see, Tanahashi has lost two out of two matches so far. Uh, Naito with one win and one loss. If Tanahashi loses here, it is all gone for him. There's no way he can win this. Um, it's all for Tanahashi, just about keeping face at this point in time and getting as many ranking points as possible. Naito is still possibly in it. He would need to win all of his final three matches, I think, to have any chance. I think if he loses here, he can probably say goodbye to the tournament. Uh, however, it's like I said before, it's not all about just winning the tournament. Getting as many ranking points as possible is important. Just keeping yourself above the water. There's quite a few guys here who are not doing terrifically well. Uh, and that's my job to fix. I will fix that moving forward. With the reintroduction of SWE Dark coming soon. Uh, I'm going to make sure we job the hell out of Pat McAfee and his friends. Get the ranking points up for the people we actually want. Uh, but this is going to be a really important day. Not only this match. This match is very important for Tanahashi and for Naito, actually, to be honest. Uh, but the big one is the one that comes up later on in Group B. The Great Muta will take on Go Shiozaki. That is a match uh, where both guys have won both matches so far. Whoever wins that one has got to be the strong favourite to go on and win Group B. As Tanahashi here working over Naito with a boot into the spine. Now in with a pin. Only a two count. Nice kick in the head there by Tanahashi. Rolling Naito over. And slamming the knee of Naito into the mat. Tanahashi taking some early control here. He knows how important this is. If he loses this one, not only is he out of the competition more or less. Uh, but he's also going to finish this tournament on a minus. Uh, because he's already lost two matches, which means in our singles rankings, um, which you can find in the link in the description down below, he is already minus two from this tournament. Two matches lost. Uh, he needs to pick up some wins, otherwise he's going to start to free fall down our ranking system and chances of him being involved in some big title matches and so forth are going to become even more limited. Knight a lovely takedown. And an elbow right into the face as well. Naito slamming Tanahashi into the corner. There's the scoop slam. What's Naito heading up the top four? And oh, I thought it was going Destino there for a second. No, turn around into the DDT. Naito's up on top, but he's quite far away. No, okay. Decides against that. I think he realized just how far away he actually was. As now he takes down Tanahashi into the knee bar. We know the issues that Tanahashi's had in the past with his knees. It's the one part of his body that's really given him up. Lovely drop kick into the spine. Tanahashi now taking, uh, being taken up onto the shoulders of Naito. Tanahashi able to fight free. Right into the barricade. Got the knee drop right into the back of the head, slamming him face first into the mat. Referee starting the count. Tanahashi's decided to try and win this by counter. You can't blame him the way that things have gone. And there is the drop kick. Referee will start the count again. Tanahashi decided against the uh, the count out victory at the end by the looks of it. Might have been the wrong decision to make. As Naito in full control now sending Tanahashi crashing towards the ring steps. Naito now enters the ring. Is Naito going to be happy to win this by count out? 
Referee's at a five count. No, Naito is going to follow him as well. That boot right across the chest by Naito on Tanahashi. Tanahashi fighting back. Now there's a boot in the gut. Straight into the ring steps. And crashing onto the mat as well. And again, we've got another attempt at a count out. But Naito is back up on his feet. These guys just need to get back in the ring. I don't think being out of here really helps either of them. They're both fantastic wrestlers. Brawling on the outside is not necessarily great for anyone. Naito re-enters the ring. Tanahashi's back up on his feet now anyway. Tanahashi re-enters the ring. Naito sends him off the ropes. Ducks underneath. In with a neck breaker. And there is the pin for the one. Two. Only a two count. Just about a two count as well. There's the elbow to the top of the head. And a knee as well. Over the top cutter. And now Naito heads up to the top. Even the leg drop from the top. Wow. Big. There's the pin for the one, two, and oh, almost a three count. Naito, big knee into the gut. Tanahashi fighting back with the elbows. Naito now looking for the chop. Tanahashi got the elbows up. Lovely running knee strike right across the gut of Tanahashi. And Naito is in control once again. Running. Ooh. Okay. Tanahashi jumps over the top, ducks underneath. Here with a beautiful drop kick. Tanahashi now taking him up in with a suplex. Tanahashi now in control. What's he looking for? There's the slam. If he's thinking high fly flow, this could be the end of the match. Tanahashi's up on top. Is he feeling it? No, he's not. Here with a lovely crossbody. There's the pin. Will it be enough? No, it's still only a two count. Tanahashi up on the top again. This time it is the high fly flow. Tanahashi with that frog splash. Is that enough for the pin? One. Two. And no, it's not. Wow. Tanahashi around the back looking for a dragon. No. Straight jacket German in the end. Nice cutter. And now Tanahashi looking like he's going to work over the knees. There's a jawbreaker there though by Naito. Who gets the leg hooked. Fisherman's brain buster. Holds it for the pin. Will this be enough? One, two. Oh. Only a two count. Oh my god. Corkscrew shooting star. One. Two. Only a two count. Naito heading to the top once again. Went in with a dive in. Overhand chop. But it looks like he got caught by Tanahashi. There's the Horikurana on the outside. And a oh, fisherman's brain bust on the outside as well. Damage being done. That matting on the outside is so thin. It's only about an inch thick. Any impact can really still hurt. 
You're hitting that concrete pretty damn hard. As Naito now twisting the arm. Oh, aim with the arm breaker. And again now with the arm hooked. And in with the arm breaker once again. Boot into the back of the leg. And Tanahashi, like I said, has had issues with his knees a lot. And Naito knows that. Naito is really working over the legs and the knees. Naito just controlling the lower body controlling the leg doing as much damage as humanly possible to Tanahashi look at that submission wow this could be enough it's not though but Naito is in firm control here we could be seeing the end of this competition for Tanahashi we still got two matches left but He's got no chance of winning at this point. Nice diving elbow by Naito. Tanahashi smartly getting his foot on the rope. Blocking potential pins. As there's the roll for into the knee bar once again. Tanahashi, all the issues of the years with the knees. The damage done by Naito today. But Tanahashi still had enough. To break free. But you see him limping on that leg. It's not easy for him at all. Naito now heading up to the top once again. Corkscrew shooting star. There's, does he actually do that move in real life? I've never seen him do it. It doesn't matter because there's enough to get the victory. And Naito now after losing his opening match has picked up back-to-back -back wins. Which moves him up to two. Joining both Kenta and Kota Ibushi. Which of course only one of those two are going to elevate themselves to three points. Because they will face each other in a couple of days time. Tanahashi now with that loss will stay on zero with three losses from three. Let's have a look at the old table here. There it is while I update the ranking system. Tetsuya Naito with that win moves up to a plus one after 16 matches. And Tanahashi after a terrible year is going to move down to a minus four after 13 matches. Wow. Wow. Minus four in this year as well. Four matches, four losses so far this year. It's not been a good time for Tanahashi at all. Uh, he still has two matches left in this tournament. He still has to face off against both uh, Shinsuke Nakamura and Kenta. Uh, Kenta looking very strong. Shinsuke also on two losses from two. Uh, and he has a chance to change that tomorrow against Konosuke Takeshita. Anyway, I'm going to love you. Leave you. Good night. God bless. I'll be the same. And do not miss out on the match later on this evening. The Great Muta versus Go Shiozaki. Both men have won both of their opening current two matches of the tournament. Only one of them can keep that 100% streak going. Who's it going to be? We'll find out later. Good night.